Hi everyone, um, today I want to share with you how I created my glue stick holder that I created as my design team project for Shabalicious. I got a lot of wonderful comments on Facebook and on my video. Um, everyone was really enthusiastic and liked the idea. And I've had some questions on how I created this glue stick holder. So I'm going to make a tutorial or an explanation video and try to explain you how I created this. It's really simple and it's really fun to make and you don't need uh, very much supplies. So this was the glue stick holder that I showed in my video as my design team project for Shabalicious. And of course I will have the links to Shabalicious uh, in the description box below and I'm going to show you what you need I used these tape rolls, these packaging tape rolls and I used two of them and I adhered them together to create my holder I used these rolls to um, to tape my packages when I sent them off so I keep the rolls they're really sturdy and really nice to work with and for the pin cushion I used just one and I created a bottom and for the glue stick holder I'm going to adhere two of those together but I will show you that in a minute I'm also going to use um, this part of a pizza box you can also use uh, any other kind of sturdy box I'm going to cut two circles to make it sturdy and to create the bottom of the glue stick holder so I'm going to use some cardboard or some I'm not sure how to call it maybe you have some chipboard we don't have it here because it's really expensive and it's quite hard to get and I'm also going to use some music sheet paper and this was gifted to me by my sweet friend Lenka thank you so much Lenka and I'm going to use a lot of goodies uh, from Shabalicious, the laces and embellishments, but I'm going to show that to you later I think I will do a fast forward when I start decorating but for this part I'm going to explain so the first thing that I do is I put my tape roll on top of my pizza box and I'm going to tra trace it twice <laughs> I'm sorry So I cut my two circles out and now I'm going to adhere them together. I like to use glossy accents as my liquid adhesive because it's really strong. But you can use any kind of liquid adhesive that you like or prefer. So I'm going to glue these together. I like to do them back to back. And what I'm going to do now, I'm going to cover both sides of the bottom piece with the music sheet paper first because it's easier to do it in advance before we are going to adhere these two together and cover them with paper as well. So I'm going to cover the bottom first. And now I'm taking my sanding tool and I'm going to sand the edges really lightly because this paper is quite thin so I don't want to, to ruin it or tear it. So
Now I'm going to do the other side. And let me check. Yeah, it fits right here. So let me put this the right way. I'm going to take my distress ink and I used the frayed burlap to color my edges. And I'm doing this in advance because it's impossible to do it later when it is adhered to the tape rolls. And now we are going to adhere these two together and I use my glossy accents to adhere them together and then I'm going to reinforce it with some masking tape as well and we're going to cover it with paper both on the outside and the inside so it's not the seam is not going to show anymore so I like to use glossy accents again you can also use hot glue, but I think it dries too fast, so I like to work with the glossy accents. It takes a while before it's dry, but I have some time to adhere them together nicely. So one on top of the other. And I'm going to press it a little bit. And now I'm taking my masking tape to reinforce it. And it doesn't have to be neat or perfect at all because it's not going to show. So these two are adhered together and we first we are going to adhere the bottom to this part because you want the paper to be the complete length of this and if you adhere this one later on you are not covering up this small edge so I'm adhering the bottom first. No, I'm sorry, I'm going to adhere the paper on the inside first and then I'm going to adhere the bottom, I'm sorry. <laughs> So I have to measure this one and I'm, um, we are using the metric uh, measurement system. So this one is 9 centimeters and 3 millimeters and let me see in inches but it depends on what packaging tape rolls you have of course but you can measure this one and it is 3 this one is three and about three and let me see five eighths of an inch so and if you want to know the measurement around this one I always use a piece of twine or any kind of rope you can also use some embroidery floss and I'm holding it with my thumb and I'm going all the way around like so and oops <laughs> of course it has to go wrong because I'm filming <laughs> let me
you see. And I overlap a little bit, maybe half an inch or something like that. And I'm holding my thumb right here and then I can measure my paper. And in this case it is going to be 11 inches or 28 centimeters. So I know how much paper I need to go all the way around and for the inside it's a little bit less. I'm going to put the paper inside and I'm going to hold it as tight as possible and I'm going to give a little mark on the inside so you don't have to to measure it if you don't want to. Now I have to take a little bit more, of course, because we want to overlap it a little bit. So, And I'm going to take my eraser and remove these little marks. Like so. And I'm going to color the edges with some frayed burlap distress ink again. And I'm only coloring along the long side of the paper. Because I don't want to accentuate the seam right here. So I'm not going to put any distress ink on the short sides. And now I'm going to take my adhesive and I'm going to cover the back side of the music sheet paper, of course. <laughs> Duh! <laughs> I'm going to adhere the paper. I'm going to adhere it as tight as possible and as neat as possible. Like so. So the inside is covered and now we are going to adhere the bottom, oops I'm sorry out of frame, <laughs> we're going to adhere the bottom and then we're going to cover the outside. And let me see because I want to be the seam to be on the back side so I'm going to look at my music sheet paper and I will have this one on the back side so I'm going to adhere it like this and I take my glossy accents again and you have to hold it for a while because it takes a while 
And now we are going to measure again. And it's slightly bigger now because of the of the bottom. And I want to cover it as much and neat as possible. So we have two millimeters more now. It's not 9.3 but 9.5 centimeters. And I'm not sure in inches. It's now about three and six eighth or three fourth of an inch. I think it's one eighth of an inch more because of this bottom part. So we are going to measure another piece of paper. And now I'm adhering my papers first because I can use my distress ink later. On the outside it's no problem, on the inside it's harder to do because of the surface. But on the outside you can still distress it later on. So I'm going to adhere my paper first and I'm going to make sure that my seam is on the back side like the paper on the inside. So I'm starting adhering my papers right here And you can see some crinkles and I really love the, the worn look of it. So I'm doing this on purpose to give it a wrinkled and more vintage look. So I'm pressing my paper down while the adhesive is drying and give it a more aged look. So now I'm going to take my Distress Ink, the Freight Burlap again, and I will color my edges so this is how I created the base of my glue stick holder and I hope this was helpful and uh, you don't need much supplies you only need to packaging tape rolls and a pizza box or a cere cereal box and some paper you can also use uh, book paper or scrap paper, uh, pattern paper, anything you like. So this is how I created my my glue stick holder, the base of it, and I embellished it with all the beautiful laces and trims and embellishments from Shabbylicious. So like I said, I will have the links to Shabbylicious in the description box below. And I hope this was helpful and I hope you will give it a try. They are really fun to make and they're functional. And I think we all have glue sticks and we all want a nice way to store them. So I want to thank you so much for watching. I hope you all have a wonderful week and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.